January 1st, the Sugar Bowl. 7.45 p.m. on ESPN. We got Georgia. We got Baylor. We got Kirby Smart against Matt Rule. Um, let me go and give you a couple of, a couple of interesting tidbits. Uh, Chris Felica was, was sending these out. The Big 12 has been an underdog against the SEC seven times since 2016 in bowl games. They have won five of the seven outright as underdogs. Um, on top of that, the last two losers of the SEC championship game, that was Auburn and Georgia the last two seasons, uh, have lost outright as a massive favorite in their bowl game. Look, Georgia is a seven-and-a-half-point favorite that is down from the opening number of eight. Uh, the total is 41-and-a-half right now. It came down from 42-and-a-half. I, I mean, there's no real number to even talk about here. Uh, Baylor plus seven-and-a-half is the play for me, and the under 41-and-a-half is the way that I'm going. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it matters if Charlie Brewer's playing or not. I think he is going to play. Um, but I, I don't. I don't think any of that stuff matters. I don't think Georgia wants to be here. Like they're they're back in the Sugar Bowl again. Like maybe they come out prep this time when they when they got beat up by Texas last year. But I I just don't think so. I don't think Georgia's that good this year. Uh, I'm going the under forty one and a half. I'm going Baylor. I think I think Baylor might win the game. I think Baylor can win the game too. Been excited about them all year. Um, I'm with you. This is this is a Baylor play and an under play. Baylor's defense might be the second best defense Georgia's played all year. Maybe the third because they had to play LSU and Auburn. Um, but but I, I think they're up there as one of the best defenses in the country. I've got Matt Rule, a far superior coach in my opinion, um, with a couple of weeks to prepare for this vaunted Georgia offense. I don't know what the <laughs> hell's going on there. Um but yeah, I think Georgia's going to find points to be a premium. I think Georgia's defense will play good, but but Baylor is a big play, explosive offense to where they only need one or two, and it's a house call. They've yeah. got big time speed at the skill player position, and and they break a couple away. They always tend to take the ball away. They make a big special teams play. That they, they are just sound at every phase of the football game. They're one of the best teams in the country, but because their name is Baylor and not Texas or not Oklahoma, nobody gives them credit. Yeah, I, I'm with you. All right, so we are both on Baylor. We're both on the under. Both on the under. Yes, sir. I'm with you. I'm with you.